Yeah, turn your face towards me a bit more. Yeah, that's good. A little bit more towards me, yeah. Beautiful, stay there. Beautiful, yeah, that's great. Light is emotion. Turn a little more. So when you want to photograph someone, it's very important for you to determine what you want to say, what you want the subject to express, which is the reasons why we do what we do, to communicate a point of view, to communicate a message. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, that's great. Yeah, and then just looking over more. Huh? Yeah, there, stay there, put your head back a bit, yeah. Stay right there, stay right there, yeah. Someone says to me that they want to be a fashion photographer. I say, first of all, go for it. Amazing that you know what you want to do. It's a lot of hard work. Um, building your portfolio uh, entails making an investment, a financial and a time investment. Um, and more important than anything, it's about having a voice. It's about having something to say. I think a lot of people make the mistake of wanting to do everything to be more marketable, but I think that you do have to have a distinct, I use the term voice as opposed to style, because your style can be different, but your voice has to be the same. Yeah, take it off, let's take it off. Well, on set, there's a lot of things that are going on. In order to create synergy with all the elements that take place in a shoot, I think that the most important thing is to use equipment that allow you to forget about the technical. You know, you have your model that you have to have a rapport with, you have clients. In the case of Profusion, I had an audience, and then you have, you know, a camera system, lighting system, and all these things can be overwhelming. What I've chosen to do is work with the best system. So Profoto is the best lighting in the world, Phase is the best camera in the world. That allows me to sort of concentrate on the creative. I don't want to worry about the technical. I want to create a certain mood, I want to express a certain point of view, so I use this equipment that allows me to get there. That way I can just focus on the relationship between people. But I think at the end of the day, it's your rapport with the subject that's the most important. I've heard a lot of great things about you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, I've heard good things Matt. about you. Good. Yeah. We've never worked together before. No. Yeah. First time. I like to step into an environment where I have an idea of what I want, um, but I also leave myself that room for exploration, um, and collaboration to take place. You know what, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I have no idea, no. You're gonna be, I guess here, let's establish like a light for you and then let's play. I always say that when you're shooting with someone, especially in fashion, I always liken it like a dance. Your approach always has to change and adapt depending on who you're photographing. So she's gonna show me something and then I'm gonna tweak and then I'm gonna give it something back. And then, th then you build a synergy. And little by little, it starts developing and you see it. I don't think of the first initial shots as important shots. I do one just to get the light right, to make sure that the tones are right. But even if the light is a little off and the person's really ready to go and we're doing a lot of movement, I just take photos and I don't worry too much about what I'm getting. I'm getting warmed up. I'm sort of figuring out the angles of the person. I shoot for a few minutes that way. Um, and then I'll look briefly at some of the last images and then I'll know what to do to change that can mean we change the modifier and I'll let my first system know, just you know, swap out that light for this light. And then instead of doing that and spending time looking at the monitor, I will just go right to the model and just get to know them. Talk about anything that allows me to connect with that person. Even when you have a very limited window, just take your time because when you're rushed, you make mistakes. There's a Spanish saying that says that when you're in a rush, you have to dress slowly. And I think that I always remember that. We live in a society where you want to reach a certain level of success overnight and it just doesn't happen that way. Take a breath, enjoy the ride. I think that's the most important piece of advice I can give someone. Just have fun and know that it could take years and that it's worth it.